What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG. In the next, in the last part, we beat Bowyer and basically restored peace to Rose Town. In this part, we're actually we could head towards Moleville like right away, but I want to take care of a side quest first. If we go to the Pipe Vault, this base is a long way to get to uh, Moleville, but uh, there's some new enemies we have to do. But uh, First of all, these are the first batch of new enemies. Actually, first of all, I gotta equip the uh, finger shot we get for Gino. Give, uh, let's give him the wake up pin. There we go. So here's a new enemy. These are the lava bubbles. I, I keep fucking up the time in the Koopa shell. But these aren't hard enemies to kill, let's just say. I want my main goal is for Gino to get a level up there in this area, but um Anyway, there should be another batch of new enemies coming up. Um there's not the Goomba, we've seen the Goombas before, let's just say. Look at how much stronger we are than these Goombas, let's just say. We only get one pity XP out of that. Anyway, new enemy. These are the, uh... These are the Piranha Plants. Those are also new enemies, those Shy Guy things. You cannot encounter them until much, much later in the game. Without them running away. You need to be a very certain speed to outspeed them. Why do I keep fucking up the time? <laughs> anyway, those are the Piranha Plants, but, um... No... There is a pipe, a very specific pipe I want to go down. I think I have to fight this. All right, this is the pipe. We talk to this guy. Hey, mate, step right up. 10 coins, do some Goomba thumping. How about it? You know the rules. Nope. Thump a Goomba, get one point. Thump a Sagi, lose one point. Thump a Goomba, get three points. We get 20 points or more, you get a free. All right, we get 20 more points or more, we get a prize. So. So, I just came off of playing Sonic Adventure. This is very much like the Amy Hammer portion in that game. The Gold Goomba gonna show up. And we also get more time here than we do in the original. And we got we also got more than enough to get the prize, so um And we get we get a flower tab, so uh yeah. We lose the flower tab and the flower box, but uh, I just mainly want to show that once. The more the more points you can get, the better prizes basically you can get. Now, this should be the last room. Oh, by the way, if you get, yeah, don't lose, make the, don't make sure, make sure you don't lose. This is the last room. I know this for a fact. Flower. Now, if we go in this pipe, we're in a completely new place. Welcome to Yoster Isle. This is a hidden place you have to go through the pipe vault to get. Now, uh, we talk to this Yoshi. Mario, glad to find Mega Yoster Isle, the home of the Mushroom Derby. Now, say, you, you, you use your help. This is my phone and say, what, you can't understand? Well, hop on board. We had to ride Yoshi basically as some perpetrator. Hey, Yoshi, think you can beat old Boshi today? Of course. Here, take my cookies. I'm ready for you. Alright, so. I'm gonna tell you a trick to beating Boshi in one try, or you can do this every time. It's about the cookies, all right? He's gonna have a lucky day. You gotta have a race one on one. So he's gonna get, the game's gonna try its best to explain it to me, but I can basically explain it really well. We're gonna take the instructions. So press A and B alternately along with the rhythm. So what it means is that this song is gonna have a specific time signature. So um, the tighter the rhythm, the faster you go. Press Y during the race to eat a cookie. So basically. 
the best way to describe the, this is that is you have to basically know the time signature because like when you're playing drums that's the first thing to teach you so my instructions again so um no thanks five so basically keep all time between and being time with the beat so yeah it's basically time signatures so one two one two one two Not doing this right, but uh, it's hard to do this recording, but um, I know, I, I, okay, I have to practice some more, but uh, it's hard doing this and talking at the same time, because I'm not exactly leave on hell or any of those drums that could drum and sing. Hold on. I'll practice some more. Let's see if I can, uh, hold on. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. So yeah, basically that's a four beat. So if you can get it on beat with the the percussion of the song, like you have to basically be on beat with the percussion. So this is a four beat. So if you can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you'll pretty much get it every time. So, um, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, three, four, one, two. I'm gonna fuck this up. I did fuck this up, unfortunately. But I almost beat it the first try, so if you can basically... You have better odds, basically, if you, like, no time signatures and all that, but, um... I'm just gonna cut till I, uh... Actually, no, I'm not gonna cut, but, um... We don't need the instructions again. We don't need... We just don't need to go through the instructions again, but, like, um... I say as I fuck this up, but uh. No thanks. We know that. We, we, I've already gone through this the best I've went. Hold on. So, um. Alright, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. So yeah, we won that. If you can basically, like, this isn't really like a music, I'm not trying to give like a music theory lecture and all that, but like, if you know about that kind of stuff, or like if you can count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, along with the button presses and the rhythm of the song, you'll get it every time, basically. Because basically the thing the thing they're trying to go for is when you're playing drums, like the first thing you learn is like time signature and all that, like how many notes are on a specific beat. In that case, it was a four beat. So um, anyway, now we're in Moleville. We're actually gonna get new uh, equipment. We're gonna buy the punch glove, which in the symbols. We don't need the finger shop because we already have a finger shop, but uh, we're gonna buy the. Actually, hold on a second. Yeah. We're gonna buy the mega pants for Mallow, but both the work pants for Mario and Gino. And I honestly think I'm gonna cut it off of this part of Sumar RPG. Sorry for this being a mini part, but uh, next time in Sumar RPG, we're gonna go to the Moleville, uh, we're gonna explore more of Moleville. See you guys then.